The Trinco Night Navigation Operations Project which implemented under the Japanese non-project grant aid of 1 billion Japanese yen includes all the facilities, was handed over for operations on February 17, 2023 at a function held at the port of Trincomale with the participation of Ports Shipping and Aviation Minister Nimal Sirapala da Silva and Japanese Ambassador to Sri Lanka Mizukoshi Hideki and several higher officials of the Ministry and Sri Lanka Ports Authority. Trincomale Harbour, a natural deep water harbour, is considered the fifth largest natural harbour in the world. According to historical records, the port of Trincomale was known as Gokana in ancient times. On March 2, 1815, Sri Lanka surrendered to the British, and with the recognition of the port of Trincomale's safe positioning, the British established a Royal Naval and Air Force base there. After independence in 1948, the port of Trincomale was nationalized in 1967 and later vested under the purview of Sri Lanka Ports Authority in 1979. Despite its world-class recognition among industrial and tourist ports, the development and operations of the port of Trincomale were hampered due to the rapid development of the port of Colombo and the lack of potential to perform night operations. Vessels calling at the port at night had to enter the port during the daytime of the following day, after anchoring at the out harbour waters during the previous night, which caused interruptions to port operations and their efficiency. As a result of fruitful discussions between the government of Sri Lanka and the government of Japan in 2017, the two governments entered into an agreement to implement a grant aid under the Japanese non-project grant aid program 2017, also known as the Economic and Social Development Program. Accordingly, this grant aid of 1 billion Japanese yen was provided for the night navigation operations project at the port of Trincomale, which included a state-of-the-art vessel traffic management system, radar equipment, lighthouse equipment, 16 navigation buoys, two mooring buoys, two 400 kV generators, 14 fire pumps with machinery, and a pilot vessel provided by the Japan International Cooperation System with the invaluable assistance of the government and the people of Japan. The SLPA expects the daily operational capacity at the port of Trincomale to increase with the commencement of night navigation operations. I must say, Your Excellency, that uh, after you giving this uh, night vision facility to us, we have made this port a profitable port. And uh, we don't owe any single cent to anybody else, but we are managing with the income we are deriving from the port, and we have slight amount of uh, uh, profit also, which we are investing on the uh, administrative building and which we are going to invest on some warehouses also. The importance of this port is historically it's an important port for Sri Lanka and during the Second World War and all that, the British occupation of, the, uh, of this port and the adjacent land and thereafter, with Mrs. W.R.D. Bandar Naika, the pioneer of my party, leader of my party, who took over this port uh, from the British and it was given to the government of Sri Lanka and thereafter it was handed over to the Sri Lanka Port Authority. So therefore this has a very long history for this port also. And as mentioned by me people here, it is one of the largest uh, port with the scenic beauty as well as uh, a natural harbour uh, with the uh, Deep harbour, uh, deep harbour where uh, uh, big vessels can come here. But we have to develop this. We can't. Uh, in the maritime industry now, is every day changing, and uh, 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 we need to embrace the digitalisation, port management as well as the new technology into our port management systems. There are new assistance, the technology advancement and sharing the information as well as the knowledge is very essential for a country like Sri Lanka. Though we are a maritime hub, 
we are an uh, island nation with 20 million population. Our economy has to be strengthened. The port sector and the aviation sector will have to contribute more into the economic emancipation of Sri Lanka. In 1983, when the civil war erupted, the functions of Trincomare port had been severely damaged by the hostilities as lighthouses and other navigational aids were destroyed during the civil war and had been left damaged. In May 2016, during the Japan-Sri Lanka summit between the Prime Minister at the time, Uyukurama Sinha, now President, and former Prime Minister Abe, who has passed away last year, held in Tokyo, the importance of port development in Sri Lanka was highlighted. And uh, as a result, the Economic and Social Development Program Agreement was signed in April 2017 with the Sri Lankan government. As one of the programs under this agreement, the government of Japan has provided a grant assistance uh, worth uh, 10 billion yen, 2.63 billion rupees for this night navigation system to ensure smooth operation and management of the port of Trincomalee. This system, as has been ex already explained, uh, includes mooring buoys, other port maintenance related e equipment, and the latest equipment manufactured by Japanese companies in order to enhance the port functions aimed at the safety of nighttime navigation and 24-hour operation of the port of Trincomalee. This project is also expected to enhance the growth of the regional connectivity and rehabilitation of conflict-affected northern and eastern provinces, ultimately contributing to island-wide socio-economic development. Well, I would like to apologize for the delay of the handover ceremony, which should have been happened a long time ago, but I have heard that the equipment we have uh, provided are already operating, and uh, uh, it is benefiting uh, the Trincomalee port as well as this region. I would like to conclude my remarks by wishing this project further promoting economic growth through improved domestic logistics and international connectivity in Sri Lanka, and further strength strengthening our bilateral relationship between Japan and Sri Lanka. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.